Hi guys, so this is just a quick tip when it comes to um, mail merge. Please, this is something that has been picked up as a problem when it comes to mail merge. So here I've got my merge document. I've just done, you know, start mail merge, select recipients, I've inserted the merge fields, and I'm now going to finish my merge. So I go finish merge, edit individual documents, that's all fine and i click ok but just have a look at this the name of my document is letter arts festival okay so when i click ok do you see what happens this is going to give me a merged document named letters one now please bear in mind the following when you are asked to do a mail merge in your practical tests or exams they will always ask you to do the following. There you can see is my original document. And then they'll usually tell you to save the merged document, which is this one now. Okay, so now I'm going to save this. And I'm going to browse and I'm just going to say I'm going to put it on my desktop as let's just say letters merge complete. Okay, so I'm saving it, the merged document as a different name and usually you'll be saving it into the same folder and then I'm going to click save Now the reason this is important you can see over here the two names letter arts festival is my original document and then letters merge complete this is the one that I've completed the mail merge in I'm stressing on this because this is something that many of you as grade 12s and sometimes grade 11s as well you get wrong uh, when it comes to saving so please make sure you've saved the original and you've saved the merge document so that you have two files at the end of the day the one is the original and the other is the completed mail merge